How's it going, everyone? With the 58th overall pick, the Packers went with safety Javon Bullard. And so now we're going to get a little bit more in depth, very similar to how I do the top 30 visit videos and see who they are and how they did at the collegiate level and all that. So Javon Bullard uh, was the second best safety in this year's draft class. Uh, and that's the true safety position. And that doesn't include the cornerbacks like Cooper DeGene. So uh, he came in with a RAS score of 8.25 uh, with a height of 510 and weighed at 198 pounds and did the bench press 16 times. Had a 40 yard dash of 4.47 seconds and a shuttle time of 3.97 seconds. For to compare his 40 yard time to all the other combine players that ran the 40 yard dash at the safety position, he comes in at six best. So a pretty good fast time for him with the fastest player being Adrian Taylor Demerson at 4.41 seconds. So really just 0.06 seconds slower than the fastest safety in this year's draft. For his time at the collegiate level, he played three years all at Georgia and Gutekunst does seem to like them Georgia players. So in his first year, he didn't really play. He only played six games, had 12 total tackles, and that's it. In his second year, played 14 games. And this is when he was just mainly a slot cornerback at this current time. He didn't really play too many safeties snaps he was just a corner or really a slot corner uh so he played 14 games had 46 total tackles seven tackles for a loss three and a half tackles or three and a half sacks two interceptions and three pass defended pretty good year for him and then in his final year made the transition to safety and mostly played as a free safety sometimes a box safety and also still had some some uh snaps as a slot corner so in that year, he played 12 games, had 56 total tackles, one tackle for a loss, two interceptions, and five pass defended. And if we're to look over on the PFF side, so pretty much looking over the 2022 and 2023 season, since those are the two years he mainly played, in the 2022 season had a defensive grade of 80.4, run defense grade of 73.1, tackling grade of 69.5, and a coverage grade of 80.4. And he only missed five five tackles in that season then in the 2023 season his final year switched over to mainly to play free safety had a defensive grade of 82.8 run defense grade of 67.1 tackling grade of 78.4 and a coverage grade of 88.4 and only missed seven tackles that season so really seems to be a pretty good short tackler. That's something we really like to see with our team and relatively had a pretty good season despite playing two different positions in the defensive back group. So in 2022 as well, he was targeted 52 times and allowed 34 receptions, which was good for a 65.4 completion percentage. Then in 2023 as a free safety was targeted 26 times and allowed 14 receptions, which was good for a 53.8 completion percentage. So what was targeted a bit and was able to pretty much mitigate any type of big plays and did pretty well in coverage. And that shows, especially with the high coverage grades. And so with Javon Bullard coming to the backers, they get someone that's very versatile and as Gutekunst put it, interchangeable. Jeff Halfley, uh, when he talked more in depth about what he was looking for safety, wanted interchangeability, wanted to not just be focused on, hey, you're just mainly just a safety. He wants to be able to play, hey, you're a free safety at this play, or maybe you're a box safety this play, or you're playing slot corner in this play. And he, they kind of wanted a corner to play besides Xavier McKinney that could be interchangeable and would allow Xavier McKinney to also be interchangeable and play multiple spots. And this will allow him to do that. Gutekunst did talk about Javon Bullard a bit in his press conference after day two, and he said a lot of good things about him. So pretty much with Bullard, he said that he's very versatile and can play the nickel, can play safety, big time leader for that football team at Georgia. He also added, and this was also talking about Edron Cooper on this quote, but that they both have a lot of speed. They bring a lot of speed. These guys can hit and run. We got a lot faster, which is what I wanted to do this weekend. And then added on to when he was talking about Bullard's versatility, he can play the post, he can come down in the box, he can jump into the nickel, he can do a lot of these, he has done a lot of these things in a pro style defense, very versatile player, we'll probably start him at safety, he's versatile enough to do all the things we ask back there, 
and kind of piggybacking and when talking about Bullard and with him being paired with Xavier McKinney, he said that X is a dynamic player and we want to move him around and we'll need Bullard to do things that allow McKinney to move around. So definitely a great pick for the Packers getting one of those top safeties and it allows us to do what we want to do on defense and make it a lot harder for offenses to figure out what we're doing and disguise it. But let me know what you think down in the comments, how you feel about Javon Bullard. If you liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and as always, Go Pack Go!